I have a guest in the studio. I passed through a particular barber shop yesterday and I heard the conversation and I was butting in at the conversation. The conversation was about what a real black girl should look like and how black girls don't really look after themselves. Look. You know, one of the topic, one, one of the points the young man made about if a black girl and a white girl is going to a party in six months' time. My secret guess, say what you said. Alright, alright. You know what I'm saying, yeah? This is what it is these days, yeah? These days, it's so hard to look at a black girl and say to yourself, yeah, you see that black girl there? And I make her my girlfriend or I make her my wife or something. But yet still, that's what every black girl is looking for, isn't it? A man to make them their wife or their girlfriend. But it's so hard because, as Arnie was saying, if I was to have a black girl and I have a white girl, and in about six to four months' time, there's going to be some kind of big celebration or something like that, yeah? And it's like none of the girls ain't in shape. The black one ain't in shape. The white one ain't in shape. You know what I mean? But the white girl said, oh, do you know what? I need to look good for this, for this special occasion that's coming up in six months' time. Do you know what would happen from there on, from that day? The next day, mm. you see this girl go to Sports Direct. The white girl or the black girl? No, nah, the white girl. She'll go to Sports I Direct, JD's, Foot Locker or something. Mm. She'll buy her little sports tights, a little training bra, sports bra, a little cheap running shoes. You see her in the park running. You see her doing some kind of cardio. See her in the gym. We had every friend. So you said a white girl would go to Sports Direct or JD or one of them shop there, get some running suit out. What would a black girl do? You see a black girl now, and she tells her she want to look good for your dance. The first thing she's going to do, buy herself a gurgle. <laughs> the second thing she's going to do, buy herself some weed. You understand me? All right, I don't hear that one. Eh? Let me just repeat it for them. The first thing the black girl is going to do, go buy yourself a gurgle. Some eyelash, some hair, some toenail, some fake ass, some fake breasts. You understand? So you see when four months time come now, she look like the shit. But what she don't understand, she is the... Mm -hmm. You understand? Without, we say she is the... Without, without all the fandangles, she's... Yeah, because if you, if you look at this girl properly... Well, we interrupt for a private call. No. He's a black man. A black man? Yeah. How cool it down, man. I am a black woman, and let me tell you this when I was born in Jamaica with my neighbor father, 2011, we looked and we said, you know what? You know, some are reaching a beach for one look. Wood. Yeah. Extra wood. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm not buying a girl, Mr. Man. I'm in a guff in a weave. I'm in a eat the gym. I'm in a eat the. So hold on my friend, hold on a minute friend. Friend, sorry to cut you but uh, um, um, sister. Don't, don't get angry, hello. Wait now, wait now. Hold on my sister, just hold on, hold on, hold on. You see? You got, are you there? See. You see? What you're not understanding, my sister, is this, yeah? If you see a hundred black girls and you was one of them, yeah? You're one out of 99 okay. that's going to do that. Do you understand me? I'm not standing there saying it's every black girl in the world that does that. No, because you got proper black girls out there. You understand? But right now, if I was to go outside on the roadside and stand up and say, yeah, I want a girl, and I see 60 black girls walk past me, I most probably can't even look one of them and try to take one of them for my wife. You understand me? So this is what I'm trying to say to you. It's not every black girl that's like that, you know. But what's going on these days is that majority of black girls are like that. You get me? A black girl would say she wants a real man. But don't they think a, 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 a black man wants a real woman? My best friend, bona fide best friend, she's a white girl. Yeah? Uh -huh. White girl, I love her like that. And guess what, like I said, at the time, she wasn't coming to Jamaica with me, but she, she didn't want to lose the career. She'd give up with him, 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 with him
within 10 minutes and a sheet and we say, come la, uh, come, come to go buy the girdle and come go do this and come go do that. So we have talked about... Well, um, Sister, Sister G, did you hear when the young man said, not every? Yeah, but you still have to the majority test. No, but well, it, it, um, 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 uh, if I, listen, I'm going to jump in, 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 let me jump in, let me jump in, let me jump in and say, I don't know how this is going to make it look for me, I don't know me personally, you know, cause me too. Listen, you mess it up, you mess it up, you mess it up, you mess it up, sister, you see from my perspective, what the young man is saying is the truth. When you go out the road, you see most black girls with wig, eyelash, and all different kind of scary looking makeup, and they don't look real. The conversation lead on to where we say, they, the girl them was saying it was cool for what they're doing. I said to them, when they wouldn't see the point, I said to them, oh, you can't hang up the phone, uh, phone you can't hang up the phone and, uh, 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 and go and listen and call back when you're ready. All right, I said to the girls, you have on all this breast, this eyelash, this wig, and you want a real man. If I should put some socks into my pan front and come get a bad man, stand up. And cock up my pants front, so. And go on like me, I'm the man of the man of the man, and me have the biggest thing in the world. And when you take me home, I'm going to take off the little something them and drop, and the socks them drop out, and you see one little pencil. You also, the guy is fake. So that is the perspective. The big, the breast, the booty, the eyelash, it is not a cool look. And I, and I think most men don't like it. No, that's the truth because, like, as I said before, if a girl wants a real man, why would a girl not think a man would want a real woman? Mm -hmm. You understand me? And it's so hard to find a real black woman. It's really hard. So what a lot of girls don't understand, yes, you might have a man, but your man's just there. You understand? It's just... There, some of them are just there for the sake of being there. You understand? Because you might have a girl that look good and, uh, but half the time you're fake. Like half the time you're not yourself. You look in the mirror one way, the next morning you look in the mirror, you look a different way. Hello? Uh -huh. Hello? Uh -huh. Yes, Pastor. Yes, Pastor. Yes, yes, sister. Yes, sister. <laughs> but easy. Yeah, no, you know what you say. I totally understand and even understand. I understand where you come from. But when you have talk, just just refer to woman. Then me say black, me say me say white. Cause that hurt me. But now I lie. Let me say my friend. She's a white girl. Her sister. She soon come as well. She soon come to make she talk and call her back. Yeah. Yeah. My sister. She wear the most makeup. She she's a white girl, but she put on wig. She start a scarf and thing there. She wear eyelashes. She can't come out without out without no makeup. And me was a black woman. Me never do that. Me no wear wig. But but sister, 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 sister. Come on, come come and converse it. Come and converse it. The young man said, I should ask you, how much of you is out there? How much of you? Uh, how much girls like you? How much girls like you? you? Not every girl is like you, you know. So you, you take up for yourself. Don't take up for everybody. Of, of, of course not. Oh, hold on one sister. Hold on one minute there, sister. One minute there, sister. Basically, what I'm trying to ask you is this. You see a girl like you, you know? A girl like you, I would say, is one in a thousand. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Because even you, right now, any house you're in, step outside your front door. The first black girl that walk past you, I guarantee you she's not 100% natural. Do you understand what I'm saying, darling? It is so hard. It's true. Yes, I hear that, but you don't know what white girl wearing weave, though. Yeah, but watch this, darling. Watch this now. Watch this. It's when you get to that point, this is what it falls down to, yeah? If a white girl's wearing a weave, do you know how hard it is to tell? Because the weave that she's wearing matches her hair. Shoo! So when you see her. If I choose to, to wear a weave, be able to wear it out the door. Then I'm telling you. So you can't say that either. You know no, but I can. But I can. Because right now. No, the reason why I can say that is right now, if I go outside and stand up, the first black girl I see, she's wearing weave, I can tell you. 
Hundred percent, I can tell you. I don't even have to go close to her. I don't even have to cool to her. So, so do you wear black girls weave like African hair? But listen to the question you just asked. Why would a black man, a black woman do this and that? So when you go to these, hold on. When you go to these dancers that you go to, are they wearing black Afro-Caribbean weave? Why would a black woman put on a white woman weave? There's different texture of weave. You just asked the question I answered it. You said, do you wear black woman weave? If I choose to wear weave, of course I'm going to wear black woman weave. Why would I put a white weave? Sister. All right. You see, you know, what you, see the dance you, you, one in a thousand, you, man. as a young man, say one in a thousand. I'm not cussing enough. The girls, them look nice with their wigs. They look nice with their eyelash, but on a you regular basis. You still would have checked them, even though they're not. We're not gay. We aren't gay. But, darling, darling, do you, do you know what you're not seeing? Watch this. You're saying we we'll still we'll still see them like that and talk to them, yeah? You're right. You're right. But what's the intention behind it when we see like see them like that and talk to them? Do you know what the intention is behind it? We ain't looking at a relationship. We ain't looking at a wife. When we see a girl like that, all we look is in a one night. You know what I them want? When you see a white girl with weed, I'm a He don't know. He don't know when she wearing it. You can't tell, darling. You have to put your hand through her hair before you can feel it. Let me let me say this. Let me say this. Can you answer the question, What's the question, darling? If you run your hands through a white woman's hair and your sister it is weak, okay, you can't tell. You can tell if it is weak. It looks nice. You can tell if it's weak. But you put your hands through it and your feet tell how weak she have on. Are you going to deal with her and give her the same treatment you say you would give to black woman? No, I'm not going to do that. And if I was to run my hand through a black woman's hair, and that is only when I run my hand through her hair, I can tell that she's wearing weave. To be honest with you, I wouldn't treat her like that either because she's not trying to look like something else. She's still trying to look like her natural self. She's just trying to help herself. But when you got the girls that are putting on total different thing, Next girl. like it's, it's a bit crazy. They look like one thing, next and then tomorrow they look like something else. How do you explain that? Next caller, next caller, please. No, 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 listen, listen. Okay. Right. You got, you got, uh, yeah, you got more white girl that we weave more than black girl right now. Trust me. Okay. I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the business, 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 but the black girl is my over there, so that's it. Thank you very much, my brother. Um, I think he's gone. Let me just let me just make a summary. What is happening here today is craziness. Come on now, ladies. Wanna look good within a wig? Me, me, I make a standpoint now. Me not like the wig. If me lose any fans today, so be it. I rather to see a girl with her natural beauty, her natural hair. They say in the olden days, ladies, your hair is your beauty. If you have fake hair you're showing me fake beauty i want to see a girl with her natural hair that would be beautiful yeah hello hello dj with no name yes listen one thing i'm going to say and i hear what that brother saying and i understand that yeah and i rate him for going live on air yeah and say when he's got so much black women listening white women listening women in general just listening but the one thing I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I, I, I hear where he's coming from, yeah? But the one thing I'm gonna say is, you see us as men, and I'm gonna say us. Yeah. We ain't, we've got a bit of a nerve, really, to be dissing the one. That's what we're, well, we're, we're dissing the women, in the sense. Not really. We're, dissing, we're not really dissing it, we're just talking the truth. So, right, let's talk the truth. Yeah. Okay, you know what I do when I'm out and whatever, whatever. And when I see, when I see people coming in to clubs and all the rest of it, Mm -hmm. I think we as we as black men need to say to ourselves, do you know what? When we look at the women and we say to ourselves, do you know what? They look good, whether it's weave, eyelash, whatever, whatever, blah, 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 blah. When you look at the black men with their trousers way down the bottom, yeah. showing boxers, oh. you understand? Oh. You, see, you don't see man going 
going out nowadays with women. You don't see them rolling out with their queen on their arm nowadays. What you see is you see a group of men with their holy right devices just hanging down, yeah, dressed up in black with a dirty, 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 dirty. Hold up, my brother. Hold up, hold up. One minute, my brother. Let me just butt in and say one thing, my brother, because. You just brought up something very interesting that I wanted to touch. Because this is the thing. You said, when a man dress up and put on his stuff and he's rolling down the road with a bag of man and all these things, they don't bring out their queen and all these things. You're right. You're very right. Well, but I, they would rather, they would rather go racing with a bag of man, all look the same, all dressed in black, 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 all dressed you need to ask it. One second, one second, one second. So my thing is this. How is it you're talking about finding a queen, finding a wife? Yeah. Do you really think that the women are looking at the man and saying, you know what, that man is nice enough. When he's got his trousers, you can see his boxers. You understand? You can see the whole of the... It's, it, it, and you look like you don't even bathe from... from the <laughs> 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 yeah. oh, I do door work as you don't know that I do door work as well. saying this thing now yeah first of all you see the topic where the man them rolling with a lot of man sometimes I myself can understand because this is the thing if I was to pick up myself a nice black girl as you call it with a weave and a whatever she's wearing yeah and for example I go to let's say Brixton on a day where they're keeping something like a festival or something Okay. And I'm thinking, yes, I've got this nice black girl with me. This is my princess. This is my queen. And yeah, this is my wife. And you understand what I mean? Yeah. Imagine I hold her hand walking down the road now. And every five minutes I walk, a next man can say, but hold on there. Another girl that did that in my yard last week. Mm. Another girl that did that in my house last month. Another girl that did that with me last night. That, that, that? That, that's just not going to seem nice. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because so you're a part of the that any girl out of road is she's been with every other man out of road. But this is this is what it's coming to these days. Apart from the weave and all of this, it's starting to seem like they don't even have respect for themselves, my brother. You yeah, understand? You're about the, the, the women. Yes, the woman I'm talking about. Okay, I understand, but then it's the same with the man then. Yeah, but this is because this is what I'm saying. Good, it's good, hard good, to good, want good, to pick good, up a girl good, to walk good, down the road with. When your own friends that you might want to take her around or introduce to, she might have slept with one of them before. Now, you as a man, how are you going to feel? You know what, brother? Let me just tell you something. You see, for my liker, and I want her as my queen, I don't business about her passing. Let me tell you the reason why I don't business about her passing. Because my pass ain't, my pass ain't too good neither. Yeah, but you shouldn't have to business about the past if it's not bothering you. But when it's right in your face... I don't, I don't think that's all, that, I don't think that's like the old summary of what he's saying. He's, maybe he's trying to say all uh, this, 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 um, cause he, he was saying as well off here that when the ladies them is dressing up to go out, they go to Ann Summers for the clothes, it's, most of them. It's like these days a lady don't go to a clothes shop to buy her clothes to go out anymore. Yeah, they yeah. Their size, and I understand all right, all right, all right. Let me, let, let me put it this way. Let me put it this way to you, my brother. Because I've, I've used this example before and I think it's the perfect example, yeah? In your own words, my brother, why would you say something like, like a diamond is so valuable? But I wouldn't say a diamond is valuable. I would say that you see what happens in life, my thing? My friend is a diamond. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, All right. Thanks. Well, point taken. Well, point taken. But let me just okay. let me just say this. Mm -mm. 
Yeah. You can never get up one day and walk down the road and pick up five diamonds off the side of the road. You walk for a whole year and you won't find one. Mm -hmm. Because a diamond is valuable. And the reason why a diamond is so valuable is because it's not something you can just pick up just like that. You have to dig for that. And even when you dig for it, you might still not find any. Wait there. Back in the days, Next that's how, that's please, how it used to be for women. That's exactly how it used to be for women. Yeah? You would have to see a woman and wonder to yourself, what would she look like in certain things or a certain way? Mm -hmm. These days, you go to a club and you look at a woman, you don't have to wonder about anything. Everything is right in front of your face. You're seeing everything you need to see. There's nothing left to the mind anymore.